Friends, let's give some tzedakah. Let's do it together in the spirit of Hakel. And the Abishter will help us that tzedakah will bring us all the blessings. And we certainly need a lot of them. On the 11th of April in 1956, Arab terrorists, at that time they called themselves the Fedayeen, infiltrated the Kfar Chabad village in the vocational school and they killed five students and their teacher. This was while they were actually middle praying. The community was devastated. The community was made up of Holocaust survivors and those who survived the purges of the butcher of communist Russia, Stalin, who murdered three million people. They finally arrived to Eretz Israel, starting their own new lives, and then suddenly this happened in this little village. People were devastated. People were discouraged, thinking there's no point staying here. But then again, where are we going? The Rebbe then sent telegrams of encouragement and he sent a group of young men, of his emissaries, to strengthen the community. Two months later, the Rebbe wrote a lengthy letter to an official of the Israeli government. And I want to share with you this letter because I think it's very pertinent to our present situation. When once again, just this Shabbos, Jewish blood once again has become very free. And the Rebbe writes the following, peace and blessing. Acknowledging, having received your letter, and you wonder why it has taken me so long to respond, says the Rebbe, because I had difficulties to write after the tragedy which happened in Kvachabat. And the Rebbe says, some want to explain it according to what it says in the Torah, Pikmashe Kosov, Bekroivai Ekodesh. When the two sons of Aaron Akohen passed away, not of Avil, the Pasuk says that Bekroivai Ekodesh. In those who are near to me, I will be sanctified. So some want to say the same thing, apply the same concept, give an explanation to this tragedy, to this murderous tragedy. And the Rebbe says, sorry, but this is also not an explanation. All we learn from there is that sometimes God does that. And in fact, the only comparison that we should take from there is that there it says, Vayidom Aaron. Aaron was silent. He didn't react. It was beyond reaction. And then the Rebbe continues. This silence is applicable to explaining the event. We have no explanation. But of the result, there is no doubt as what has to be done. And as it says in Egypt, which happened to our ancestors two thousands of years ago, that there it says in the Pasuk, V'cha'asher ya'anu also, the more they gave the, the more they made the Jewish people suffer, they multiplied and they grew. So the answer from us must be to grow and to expand and to strengthen. And the Rebbe says further, I want to emphasize what it says in Kabbalah, that our generation 
we are the Gilgal, the reincarnation of the generation of those who came out of Egypt. Those who came out of Egypt merited to be freed from Egypt through the first Redeemer, Moshe Rabbeinu, so too will we merit to be redeemed through our Moshe Rabbeinu, the final Redeemer, who is, Mo who is Moshiach, by strengthening ourselves in Torah mitzvahs, by strengthening in love your fellow Jew.